I'm Dr. Ann Arnett. And I'm Dr. Jenny Peich. We're both clinical psychologists and researchers at Boston Children's Hospital. And this is our video blog, Answers Through Research, ADHD. In each episode, we'll discuss research related to ADHD and talk about how you can apply the findings at home with your family. So today we'll be talking about reinforcement and reward learning in ADHD and how important that is for kids with ADHD. Now, before we get started, I'm going to talk a little bit about the brain basis of reward and reinforcement. And to help me out, I'm going to put on my thinking cap. So the reward center of our brain, located kind of in this area here, but a little bit deeper in the striate, is really dependent on a neurotransmitter called dopamine. And kids with ADHD, we think, have lower levels of dopamine circulating in that region. So let's talk about a study that capitalized on the importance of reward and reinforcement in kids with ADHD. Okay, I'm going to take this off now. I know you're going to miss it, Tuni. <laughs> so today we'll talk about a study by an author named Ubel. The study was published in 2010, and in this study they used a go-no-go task. Dr. Paisha, can you tell us what a go-no-go task is? Yeah, so kids see um, on a screen see X's and O's, and they're asked to press a button whenever they see an X and not press a button when they see an O. And that can be challenging for some kids. Got it. Yep, kids with ADHD particularly have difficulty with this task. Um, they often push the button when they're not supposed to, or they push the button kind of slowly. So in this study by Ubel and colleagues, they had kids with ADHD and then kids without ADHD both do the go, no-go task, and then they repeated it, and they repeated it with reinforcement. So the second time they did this task, they gave kids incentives and rewarded them every time they got one right. And as it turned out, the kids with ADHD benefited more from this reward, this incentive condition. They improve their performance more than kids without ADHD. So we think that what explains that is that external explicit reward increase or boosts the amount of dopamine circulating in that reward center that we talked about before. And that level of dopamine also improves behavioral control. All right, Dr. Peich, based on those findings, what can we tell the families at home about how they can support kids with ADHD? Yeah, so I think studies like these are really exciting because they have direct implications for applied work. Um, what these findings suggest is that kids with ADHD tend, to, on average, to have difficulties when rewards are inconsistent, delayed, or weak. And if we think about most aspects of daily life, there's not much structure. Um, so if we think about a classroom setting, uh, the athletic practice after, after school, or a dinner table um, meal with the family, there's not always that iterative and really tailored uh, reward that kids are provided with. And maybe not surprisingly, kid, kids with ADHD have a hard time in those less structured settings. Um, so the exciting thing about this study, though, is that we can use those findings to better support kids with ADHD. So at school, we have something called a daily report card, where parents and teachers can work together to identify behaviors that they want to see more of. So Dr. Arnett, what would be an example of a behavior that we might want to see more of in the classroom setting? Um, maybe raising hand instead of blurting out or interrupting? That's a great example. Um, a lot of kids with ADHD really struggle with that. So parents and teachers can work together with their kids to set up um, daily report cards to reinforce those behaviors when they're happening, so getting a sticker or a little token um, to increase those okay behaviors. At home, parents can also try to identify behaviors that they want to see more of. So for example, using gentle hands with a sibling, um, and they can praise and reinforce those behaviors when they see them. So those are some examples for parents and teachers. Dr. Peich, is praise enough to reinforce good behaviors in kids with ADHD? That's a good question. Um, ideally, we would start with something that's highly rewarding and maybe even tangible, so um, a sticker or maybe um, a little token, and then slowly over time we can fade out those external rewards once we have more of a habit. Excellent. That's all for today. If you'd like to learn more, if you have questions, reach out to us at the link below. See you next time.